Roger. Very good. Adam. Good. Things are going well over there. Sure. Everyone saw the news article, I'm sure, by now. So. No. Uh, yeah, so we, uh, at the health department, we had an audit conducted. Uh, I'd asked for it to be done, and we found uh, about $757,000 in, in services that were provided, or sorry, funding that was received in services that were never provided for for business owners. So we're working through that with a team now, and the board will meet likely May 24th and decide what they want to do with that. My recommendation was to pay it back to the members of the public that were impacted. Yeah. Um, uh, so that was so that was the, the inspection permits? Yeah. For your, for your, they call it House Bill 110, but it's semi-public sewage. Yeah. Uh, so it's businesses that have septic systems. Yep. Uh, Private that are publicly owned. I think they're about $80 a month I paid. Yeah. It, they for vary, about 12 they, years I paid. Yeah, they can vary a little bit, but on the average. Need my address for my check. <laughs> <laughs> I know where to find you. So <laughs> it's in the mail. <laughs> yeah. So we we found since about 2010 to 2022, roughly um, about 757 thousand dollars inspections were not performed, but the money was collected. Wow. We did 97 of the 200 and some inspections just last year under with the, with the team. So. Uh, no, I appreciate it. And, that, and just to be clear, that was prior to you being here, and you've done, you know, very been very proactive in getting that cleaned up and and getting the inspections going again. Um, for whatever reason, you know, prior years past, I don't know, they, I don't know, something. Happened. I don't know what was going why they weren't performing it, but they were definitely collecting the money. Yeah. You know, so uh, we appreciate you being uh, forthcoming in that and helping to uh, get that cleared up and whatever the. Outcome is, but you know, we'll, we'll deal with. But um, I appreciate appreciate your work on that. Yeah, we're going to post the audit today. Actually, I just got the final confirmation back. So the actual audit document will go live on our Facebook and website today, and then we'll have a little comment thing on there about it. So that way, the public can at least look and see what we're looking at before we go further. So Thank you for your total that. transparency. Yeah, trying. So, so was. So as far as some of those inspections, was there anything created that there was an actual inspection done or just just never was done and just never? Uh, yeah, so that was one thing that we had uh, a private firm come in because I, um, I used to do audits for a living. You want something that's unbiased and obviously if you work here, you're, you're semi-biased. So uh, they, the inspections, the sorry, the documentation for inspection varied from literally nothing to uh, inspection being performed. And the ones that we could not verify inspection perform but for was about seven hundred fifty-seven thousand dollars over those give or take ten years, roughly. So there's not like a, an actual checklist though that was completed just to basically say we did it, but they didn't actually do it. No. Yeah, because there there'd be multiple documentation that'd be in there um, that would you'd have enough or you'd definitely say like, hey, I went out there, and yeah. there wasn't enough there to, to verify it. So um, okay. based on that, that's about where we're at right now. I appreciate you doing that. No problem. I was contacted by <clears throat> um, 